Oh no, it's for you! What are you doing down there? So hi everyone, today I have a lot of things to do and I thought I would bring you along with me. Before we get into all of that though, I did just wanna start off by sending all of my positivity, support, all the good vibes over to Brian Barcheck. If you guys aren't aware, he's currently going through a little bit of a health issue. During this time, he really is just gonna need our support. Brian is somebody that I've considered a friend and a mentor and he's just contributed so much to this community. Uh, uh, you could be fine, I tell you. We haven't lost anyone yet since like last Monday, so we're good. Kevin's lost, but someone lost as a fellow content creator, I understand that words of encouragement, being flooded with positive comments, stuff like that really does help boost our mood and he is absolutely going to need it while he goes through this journey. So yeah, after this video, if you wanna check out his channel and just go, you know, encourage him, that would be so awesome. But yeah, I actually have not given Bowser his antibiotics today yet, so let's do that first. Now this part is what sucks. I have to like kind of annoy him into opening his mouth. So his sores do look a lot better. I've actually stopped the topical because they have healed up really good. Basically, I just touch him in spots he doesn't like until he does that. Ow. Come on. Got him. Okay. So this is my toad. As you guys probably will remember, I've had this toad for like three years now. I actually caught them myself. And we are in a hole down here. Come here. <laughs> here we are. Look who woke up from hibernation. So to be fair, I actually woke them up. So I had not seen Mr. Hypno Toad here for over, I think five or six months about. He wasn't even coming out to eat nothing. And I was really worried. Like I actually FaceTime Reptiliatus just in case I needed some, you know, moral support if I didn't find a living toad, but I did. And he's he's doing great. He's actually like chonky and, and still just looking so good looking him. Hypno Toad is a Fowler's Toad. This is a really common species of toad around here. This is like my noisiest animal. Like I'm pretty sure that Hypnotoad is a male because he chirps a lot. And it's so nice to hear his little chirps again. I love them. Such a sweet little guy. Okay, so I actually had to redo his enclosure because I dug him up and ruined everything. So I got a couple things I wanna add to this. I actually got some more frog moss. I ran out when I put this cage back together and I also got some aquarium rocks. And basically what I wanted to do was make a little rock path right here. I think it'll be so cute. Oh my God, I love this little rock path. This is gonna be so cute. Perfect, and then there's a big piece of uh, wood right here, cork bark, I'll put this little stone right there too. So I'm actually gonna put the moss right over here. Oh, there's so much of it. I love this stuff, it's so fuzzy. Look how fuzzy it is. I'll put a little bit around too, like some maybe over here, oh yeah. Oh. This piece is so fuzzy. Put some in the little cave down there, so you can't see that, but it's there, it's soft. Nice little place to retreat. And then we have this big fluffy piece. I'm actually gonna put this where you're at, my friend. Oh, and it's like a perfect fit. Look how soft that is. That is so soft for you. Do you love it? <laughs> oh, this is great. This is so cool. All right, so there we have it. A nice little upgrade, little update. We got an extra cave, I added that. This piece was always in there. This is a new water dish that uh, Tarantula Cribs actually gave me it. I really like it. It's a little shallow for him. I might get something a little deeper, but I could probably use this for my smooth-sided toads. They might like that. And then I just got some pothos, so yeah. Well, anyway, I'm gonna clean this up and then I'm actually gonna run up to Tropical World Pets because we actually worked out a trade. I have maybe about like 20 little jumping spider regia slings left over. I did sell out of all of the ones I brought, but I didn't bring these guys because not all 
all of them had left the nest yet by then. So yeah, let's go up to Tropical World Pets and I will show you what I'm getting. Okay, so we are at Tropical World Pets and I have the jumping spiders with me. I'm gonna see if I could trade them for a Samopeus redonkis, the Panama blonde. I actually had that species before, but it matured into a male and I loved the species. It's the only Samopeus that I really like, to be honest. So let's go see what's up. Secured the bag. And we're back and it's the next day, but that's fine. I got busy last night. So yeah, I actually traded a bunch of Phytopus regius babies for just one little Samopeus pulcher, also known as the Panama Blonde. Oh. So I've actually kept this species before. I really like this species. Unfortunately, the one I had and I grew out turned into a mature male and I didn't really have a need for him. So I gave him to somebody with a female. And finally, I got a sling. So let's go ahead and quickly move this new one over. Of course, I've got my double decker canopy tarantula cribs enclosure. This is my absolute favorite, and I think this is going to be perfect for this genus. So with Samopeus, they typically build their little web down below, and they use substrate to actually like build it up. Yes, they're arboreal, but they hang out more so towards the middle and below. So I think that this will be pretty cool. Just really curious, actually, to see like what this genus does in this type of enclosure. Again, because this is a sling and this species does tend to burrow, I'm going to do quite a bit more substrate than I typically would for an arboreal. And I'm also going to sprinkle in this moss because they absolutely love this moss. They use so much of it in their little webs. Wet it down, of course. Should we drop in some leaf litter? Yeah, it wouldn't hurt. Just some of that. Okay, now what are we going to use for the actual hide um i had a piece somewhere where did it go did i shove it back in here did chudy run away with it yeah my dog chewed it up this is what happened to my piece of cork bark tootie tootie that i was gonna use that can i have it it's not a game it's not a game you can't have that you you can I have it? No. 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 Not for you. You took a big bite out of it, Tula. Ah! Bad dog. No. Oh my god. Eh, it's still usable. It's a little wet, but that's fine, right? That that'll that's okay. Cause look, look how perfect it is. It'll make its little web down here and it's it's just like perfect. So we're still gonna use it. Stop. You guys, puppies are so hard. And you had an ostrich knee today. Girly pop, stop. So anyway, here is the look. And as you see, once we plop this right on here, this gives space to web too. So you might end up having to open the enclosure like this or they might just completely keep it down here and dig. And I feel like that's what they're going to do is probably just dig down here. So let's rehouse the Samopeus real quick. It's right there. Hopefully it'll not go completely crazy, but we'll see. It's mostly just like acting scared. <laughs> At least they're a, like a, typically a little bit more tame than the other Samopeus, but I don't want to like sit here and like, you know, say that. These things can go from like zero to a hundred really quickly. So I'm not gonna like keep it out too long. Let's uh, let's try to easily transfer it over. I wonder if I can just do this. Can I just do that? What if I like tilt this over and poke it into this and then plop, all right, here we go. Yeah, okay, that worked. Oh, yay, it's perfect. And see, it actually went like right down here in the middle, the bottom. Stop eating wood. Anyway, that's really all I've got for you guys today. Although I do want to say uh, we did name the crawfish. We went with the name Gumbo and Gumbo has been very busy completely ripping the tank apart. And Gumbo makes me sometimes want to turn him into Gumbo but I absolutely adore and love this stupid crawfish, so I thought we could feed it. Oh no, it's for you.
And yeah, that's all I've got for you guys today. Like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're not, and you want to be. Don't forget I have an Instagram that is probably way too much as at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring. It's all linked down below. I will see you guys soon. Let's get into the Patreon pet pick.